In this lecture, we will learn about database design theory. This includes the requirement analysis, conceptual design, and logical design steps of database design. The purpose of a database is to help people track things of interest to them. Data is stored in tables inside of the database. Tables have rows and columns. A flat file database has a single table, which is used to store all of the data. In a relational database, there are multiple tables. An entity is the topic of the table. Each table stores data about a different entity. Essentially, an entity is what the table is about. An instance is an entity at a specific moment. Instances correspond to a row in the table. An attribute is a column in the table. Each instance can have multiple attributes. Attributes are qualities and distinctions for each instance of our entities. You may be asking why we should use a database, or what the point of using a database is. There are a few qualities that a database has to have in order to be more useful than just a file processing system. Databases need to eliminate data redundancy. This is accomplished by using one table for one entity. Establish links between tables. This is done through keys. Contain metadata. Metadata is just self-describing information. In short, a database is self-describing, has linked tables, and eliminates data redundancy. In the next lecture, we will learn about database design concepts.